Pressure has been piling on the Kenyan government to the international community insisting that Kabuga was being given refuge in Kenya. Just a couple of weeks ago, U.S. envoy on war crimes claimed that his government had fresh information that Kabuga was still in Kenya. It is critical that a man who is involved in inciting ethnic hatred of 800,000 human beings isn't given refuge and continued refuge in Kenya. The International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda has even threatened to call for tough action against the government for failure to hand over the runaway businessman Felician Kabuga for trial, suspected of bankrolling the 1994 Rwandan genocide. But government spokesman Alfred Mutua insists that Kenya is not aware of Kabuga's whereabouts. We do not have any interest whatsoever in Felicin Kabuga. We have excellent relations with Rwanda and the United Nations, and the only interest we have is to have Kabuga arrested. He says that claims that Kenya is hiding information about him are unfounded, challenging those with such evidence to produce it. Those claiming that we are hiding Kabuga should tell us where he is and also tell the world where Kabuga is. If a fugitive came and it is termed that he came into this country, it is very difficult for him to say now I want to leave the country, especially when he, when he escaped. It would be very difficult for him to go to the immigration and say I'm Kabuga, I want to leave the country, so can you stand my documents? However, the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda, ICTR, says that if the Kenyan government is able to declare he is no longer in the country, it should also be able to say when he left and for which destination. The government says that it is now preparing a comprehensive report to the United Nations Security Council concerning the issue. Kabuga has been on the run for 15 years and has a $5 million bounty on his head. Sheila Sindeo, Citizen TV.